In this video, we're going to talk about variables. So variables are very important in programming. We use them all the time. They look a lot like uh, variables in math, right? So you're used to x equals 5 in math. Um, so you might want to type something like that, x equals 5. In your Java program, you see I cannot do that. It gives me a little red line. It says uh, uh, x cannot be resolved to a variable. Uh, and uh, it lets me tells me kind of you know create a local variable. I click on that and uh, it's fixed. Uh, how was it fixed? Well, it added this word int just before the letter x. And uh, what that is that that's telling the Java program that the variable x is of type integer. Uh, that means that I can only put integer numbers. In the variable x. So when you see this statement right here is saying put the number 5 in x and then I'm gonna print out x like that. So let's run that program. I click there and it runs it and prints out the number 5. Uh, if I go back and change that to a 9, I run the program again. It says print out the number 9. So you see how this works. I put a number in the variable and it prints it out. Okay, uh, I can have more than one variable, right? So I can have variable y is uh, 13. Um, and then I can, I'm printing x and let's print out y right after that. Uh, sorry, system.out.print y semicolon and run it and it prints out 9 and 13. I can similarly, I can say, put this y here and print out y and then x. And now, what is it going to print out? Well, 13 and 9. Very good. Uh, what if I said x plus y? What is it going to print out then? Let's run it. 22 and 9, right? So it adds the values. Of the variable x plus y and print that out. I could also you know put a number there. Um, run that. There you go. So it's 22, 13 plus 9 plus 8. It prints out the result of that, which is 30. Uh, and then I print out x. X is still, you see in the next line, x is still 9. Right? Because um, I printed it out. Uh, but that doesn't have to always be the case, right? I can change it, so I can go over here and say, oh, x is now 55. And when I run this, what do you think is going to happen? Let's see. So it's going to print out 9, because x is 9. Then x gets 55, and then it prints out x, which is now 55. You see, this is very important. The order matters, right? So we're doing 1. We're putting 9 inside x, um, then we're printing that x, then we're putting 55 in x, then we're printing x again, so now x is 55. This is very important. Uh, these are going to change a lot. All the, all the while, you know, y was 13, but we never used it. Um, so uh, we can also use it multiple times. So if I wanted to print x a bunch of times, I can just do that, run that, and you're going to print 55, 55 a bunch of times, so it doesn't get used up. Now, uh, what about the, the variable name x? So you can pick whatever variable name you want. So I picked x, but I could pick, you know, the name Bobby. That works, right? Uh, now there is an error because you see I'm trying to print out variable x, and x doesn't exist anymore. Right? I never declare the variable x. I only have Bobby and y, so I can never print that out. I cannot print out x. It doesn't exist. So I would have to either change all these x's to Bobby, or uh, declare the variable x. I'm going to change all these. 
and now the program works. Um, um, the other thing I forgot to mention is right here in this line, you see I'm putting the number 55 into Bobby. In the first, this, this line here, I'm putting the number 9 into Bobby, and I also have this int. So why is the int word here and not here? And that is because here I am declaring the variable Bobby, right? So I'm saying Bobby is a new variable that is of type integer and I uh, get the number nine. I could split it up, that one line, into these two lines. So I can say Bobby is going to be an integer, and then another line, Bobby, gets nine. And this is perfectly fine. This also works uh, the same way. Um, but most, but, you know, it requires a little more typing, right? So we generally don't do that. Instead of doing that, we just do it like here. We say, why is an integer? Oh, and by the way, it has the number 13 in it. Uh, so you're going to see that a lot. Now the variable names themselves, uh, why can be a variable? Uh, variable names have to be, you know, words, English words. Right? Uh, hello, uh, but you can also use numbers, right? So you can say hello four four five. That's a variable name. Hello one. That is a viable variable name. Uh, you generally want to start your variable names with a lowercase letter. Uh, you cannot start a variable name with an integer, with a number like that. Three, uh, you know, say three times, uh, that is not a good variable name, and it tells you like right there because it starts with the number three. Uh, so you have to start your variable names with uh, a lower a letter. We prefer lowercase, but you could start it with an uppercase. Um, and uh, of course, in, you can uh, you cannot have dashes in them. You can have on an underscore like that. But uh, the preferred method for variable names is uh, like so. Uh, so if you have the number of limes you have today, uh, you can write limes today. Uh, if you need two words, you just start the second word with a capital letter, like that. And of course, no spaces. You cannot put a space there. That's a problem. So a variable name cannot have any spaces or really any weird characters, only the uh, underlying character. Uh, and it has to start with a letter. 